Hey everyone, it's Laura with Pampered Chef here. So, we are making cauliflower steaks. Now if you, I'll be honest with you, growing up, I had never had cauliflower or Brussels sprouts. My dad didn't like them, so we never had them. And then when I married Doug, we didn't have cauliflower but Brussels sprouts. He would make them and it smelled horrible. So later on, I started to experiment. Well, now I make that stuff all the time. So I'm gonna show you a different way how to cook them. And honestly, just like anything, texture makes a huge difference in how and what, what we like. So a lot of times in all my 18 years of doing Pampered Chef, veggies, a lot of times people don't like certain veggies because they had them as a kid and you know, lovable mom cooked them to the point of death again, and so they were mush. And texture plays a huge part in that, so I'm gonna show you something. Okay, so here's what I'm doing here. Now this right here is a sheet pan that I have already done. Well, it's partway done, okay? So if you'll see the nice, it's got some nice brown bits on it. So here's what I've done, okay? Now this sheet pan is, I've got avocado oil on the bottom, and these are leeks, okay? So, um, I am using this to caramelize them, okay? Now I'm gonna set those here, and I'm going to take a cauliflower head and simply cut them into um, steak, okay? So, just like this. Now they won't, some of them won't cut perfectly, and that's fine. Um, some of them, they'll fall apart, and so it's no big deal, okay? So I'm gonna set them right on top of the sheet pan on top of the leeks, okay? Um, leeks are fantastic. They are similar to an onion and they have great flavor. Uh, they're actually related to the onions, but it's much milder and they have less sugar. So if that's something that's important to you, you might consider that. So, and I had not cooked with leeks. Leeks do have to be soaked and I'll be talking about leeks another time. Um, and how to prep those. So, because um, they, they they have a lot of sand in them, so you have to cook them or uh, clean them really well. Okay, so see how this one falls kind of really nice? And then what I do is you just trim that bottom part off. And now here's your steak part, okay? So they're just, um, you can cut them however thick you want. And then you'll have some florets that kind of fall off to the waist, not wayside, but so the, this, these are doing pretty good actually. I had a couple here, if you'll notice, that kind of fell. And um, so anyway, you just, it's not, they don't have to be perfect, but you're, it's not like you're gonna, you know, you're gonna cut them anyway. So anyway, this is just makes it easier so you don't have to worry about all the florets, okay? So I'm not cutting them into really small pieces. So here is, our last one, okay. Now what I've done is I had some bell peppers. If you'll notice here, it's got wrinkly bits. Um, it was starting, it's starting to look really, uh, really old and wrinkly, sorry. No, <laughs> don't be upset, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these and I'm gonna roast these along with the rest of the cauliflower so that they don't go bad, okay. And um, so basically that's what I'm, just like this, you just have one piece now, and I'm gonna take a little bit off the inside, okay? And um, for these, and they don't cook as long as cauliflower, so I'm, these go back in the oven, okay? Because, see, now that I've put the seasonings on, so now I'm gonna show you what I do here, okay? My little, so here's our tray. So I'm gonna take a little bit of oil. Yes, we have a spritzer, but, um, I'm just, it's got different kind of oil in it right now. So I'm putting some avocado oil. You can use olive oil. You can use whatever oil really works for you, okay? So now here's the seasoning part. So I'm just taking some salt, okay? And then pepper, like that. Now here's my seasonings that I'm using. I'm using three onion rub. Now with this tray, you, you may not have to because of the leeks but I like onion, so. And then garlic. Every recipe, gotta have that garlic, okay? Gotta build that immune system. The garlic is a great way to do it. All right, now I'm gonna put this one in the oven. Oh, come on. 
for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, depending on how you like it, okay? I want them tender, but I like a little bit of crisp. So that's however you'd like. And then I'm gonna take Parmesan cheese that I, this is what I've crushed up in the blender. And I'm gonna put some of this Parmesan cheese over it per request of the husband. And so that's your, those are your healthy fats. And then your avocado oil. And then I've got salmon I'm gonna cook in the skillet. So this is a great way to get lots of veggies, cauliflower is really good for you, and it's really dense. So I wanted to show you something now that I thought of it. Um, cauliflower is a really dense vegetable. Do you remember in biology? This is the only thing I remember from biology, okay, you guys? So when you have mold on cheese, you can cut it off because mold doesn't penetrate through the whole brick. If you have mold on bread, you can't cut it off, you gotta throw it away. The same thing can apply to cauliflower. So you're, if you have some, so sometimes cauliflower can get some brown on the florets, on the outside of florets. I was actually, so you might see florets that have some browning just like that. Well, if that bothers you, you can cut that off and it doesn't go through to the rest of it. Now, you can still see, now if it's really bad, then obviously you're gonna throw it away, but if it's just a little bit, you don't have to. You don't have to throw it, the whole thing away. Just cut that off, and now you've saved the cauliflower head. So it's the same idea of when we were in biology. It's the only thing I remember from my biology class 20 plus years ago. So anyway, um, I will see you this next week, guys. You have a great night.